Hello and welcome back to Storage Chasers. Yes, we are storage unit buyers and resellers and we are about to head out on the road for another adventure. So stay tuned. All right, we have made it to our location. We uh, won this storage unit on storagetreasures.com. This one is at a public storage, which is uh, the first time we've been to this facility. It's local to us in town here. Uh, we won this one for $10. <laughs> uh, this one is a, it's a little five by 10. Uh, I did like the initial bid a week ago and thought I was gonna be outbid, but uh, no siree Bob, it didn't. So uh, 1080 out the door. Check out some pictures. It is like I said, it's a smaller unit, but it is what it is. Show you the pictures. So yeah, it had some mattress, box springs, little desk, some toys. We I I actually bid on it because of the little red uh, radio flyer collapsible cart thingy that was in there. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, that bad boy right there. Cause I, I we have one that we use in our yard a lot, so it would be fun. Other chairs. So hopefully we're going to be able to get our ten dollars back out. It. It's a little windy today, but uh, yeah, that is the uh, picture, and uh, here is the live. And uh, yeah, everything you saw in the pictures is there. Oh, I see some kind of like barn thing with like a horse's rear end in it over there. So, but uh, yeah, we'll get all this stuff into the uh, back of the truck, and uh, we'll uh, see you when it's empty. All right, unit uh, 301 cleaned out. Wall to wall, wall to door. Better than when we got here. Swept out a little bit. Nothing hiding in the cubby, and yeah, nothing hiding in the cubby. And uh, we got it all on the bed of the truck here. Got some stuff in there. Not a whole bunch, so it should be a short video when we get back to our home base operations. Gonna head to the office, show them our pictures of it uh, all emptied out, and uh, Head on home. All right, we have made it back to our home base of operations and we're gonna be going through this uh, little tiny unit of stuff. Uh, the garden soil we picked up at Lowe's. It is on sale, if you're asking. Thanks for asking. Uh, these are some of the small things we found in the unit. These uh, Vulcan electrodes. Uh, I think they're welding rods. Uh, electrode, uh, yeah, I think that's what these are. So I got a box of some of those might be you know something good found a couple of funnels you know for funneling uh brand new i think we'll use them in the kitchen actually instead of uh somewhere else like in an automotive or anything but uh yeah that's a good possibility i also found this little uh, nozzle for uh, one of them like map gases or oxygen acetylene types of little torch things found this really heavy duty puller claw here which is really kind of cool um that, i mean that may be worth worth the price of admission right there who knows i'll have to look it up doesn't have a name brand on it just says eight inch 200 millimeter claw thingy uh found a book a pearson book um core curriculum introductory book fifth edition got a barcode so that means I can scan it so we'll see if it's uh, something that somebody needs for one of the schools around here and we'll be able to get into that uh, we also got let's go over here and get the big stuff out of the way got this mattress and box spring uh, not quite sure what size it is but it is kind of damaged if it wasn't damaged we would uh, spot clean it and try and sell it because this is still better than some of the ones people have out here and they'd be more than happy to take that off of our hands for a few dollars uh, just so that they have something better but this one because it's got the holes in and stuff we wouldn't try to resell that or even give it away unfortunately uh next thing up is we've got i think it's a sleeping bag new with tags olaf slumber bag oh same difference <laughs> but uh yeah we'll open it up make sure it is brand brand still brandy newy and we'll scan the tag and see if that is something that can be put on the old ebay if not it'll be a flea market item and uh, then we have this it's a cool little toy box it says uh 200 mega blocks so you know we don't, we don't trust anybody so yeah dump it out and see what's all in there 
And uh, yeah, okay, there's uh, some other little stuff. There's a Hot Wheel. Oop, looks like a Porsche. Yeah, a little Porsche in there. That's kind of cool. Maybe, maybe cool. I don't know. And uh, yeah, I don't see the one car, but yeah, we'll count all the pieces and see if there's anything good in there. Um, I don't know if I want to know what that is. Yeah, we'll just. Should have had gloves on for that one. But yeah, we'll count those and see how many there actually are. If there is close to 200, then that's good. If there's less than that, then we'll scratch it off and write the correct number and sell it at the flea market. Because <laughs> we got to get rid of it. Uh, this is one item here was kind of cool. Uh, it's an actual school desk. That is kind of cool. Somebody, well, a lot of people out here do uh, homeschooling and stuff. So this may be just the ticket i mean there's not any rust on it hardly that i can see maybe a little bit around the foot thingy here but i mean that is a durable sturdy little little desk for good homeschooling that's kind of cute maybe uh the next thing was this we weren't sure what it was uh because we saw the hind end of it but it's a horse of course of course and it it comes out of here i think it comes out of here yeah it's on uh got like it's got a door that I got to put back on here but it's got a plug and uh, it's got a, a thing so yeah I don't know uh, it appears to be a, a an automated horse and it yeah I don't know it's not making any noise right now but yeah I think it like drives by itself kind of thing or you know like the kids do it but it's a horse and it has its own little little house so yeah if that charges up and works um yeah I, i'd sell that for 10 bucks to somebody uh unfortunately we'd probably have to try to get a little bit more for it but yeah that is that is cool <laughs> did not see that coming uh also in there was this it's a polaroid i thought it was like a bluetooth speaker thingy uh, it had paper thrown in this hole here, plugging it up, so I don't know if the cone, if there was a cone speaker here or not, because I can see all the way in there and I can see wires. So I think something may be missing there, but as long as it makes noise and doesn't reverberate, it might be able to be resold. The heat has gotten to the uh, coating on top. It's got some buttons and knobs and, yeah, on-off switches on the back there. It's got a little plate back here says Polaroid and the model number and so so yeah we will uh, check that one out uh, next a rod ooh, a heavy a heavy rod iron chair uh, there's no pad thingy for it just the chair so uh, I think the value for it as a chair is more than the scrap value metal price but it is still pretty heavy <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe we'll find a pad somewhere in our stuff and we can strap it to it and sell it uh, then we got this fire truck i've had this exact same fire truck before i'm almost positive of it um this one uh you know i think it makes noise or it, it's supposed to make noise if you push the lights and stuff it's supposed to supposed to siren noises or something and there's a way that you can change the batteries because i've seen it online um i think we sold the last one at the flea market for i don't know 15 20 bucks maybe so um yeah i'll uh, clean this one up and see if i can get some money money for it because a lot of people like trains a lot of people like trains this is a tonka but it is plastic so maybe not as valuable as uh, some of the other ones could be next up we've got uh, i believe it's a power ranger right it's the blue ranger he had like this battery box in his back it's coming out um not in the best of shape uh, maybe some kid will want it and then he was sitting in this cool little uh, Damien rocking chair Almost looks like a little tykes kind of thing, but nope. It's a uh, who hobblers who hobblers Chair thingy and uh, I'm not sure Exactly how it goes together But I think I think I can pop it apart and take this part off and wash it this part wash it and then put it back together and then maybe sell it as like a kid's rocking chair for you know five bucks at the flea market 
Uh, him, uh, not so much. He's gonna be gone, and that's gonna be it. <laughs> and then this is the whole unit. The whole reason that I bid on this unit was I saw this in there upside down. We have another one that we use in the yard a lot, but these things are cool. It's a radio flyer, little uh, wagon. Uh, we uh, take our packages up to the mailbox with uh, these things and and everything. This is this is like a really cool cool thing. This one steers about as good as ours. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we see people going around the flea market with them. You strap your kids into them and, and go and then all you got to do is just fold it up and throw it in the back seat. Uh, my wife was saying, oh, we need to sell it. Get the money back for the unit. But I got it. I only bid on this unit for this. I mean, it was 10 bucks. You would have bid on it for 10 bucks. That's worth the 10 bucks at least. And then uh, like I said, I just got to sell some of this other stuff here for 10 bucks and uh, make our money back and then a uh, little bit of profit and we'll be good. I think the horsey thingy will, will do that good. I think I can probably get 10, 11, whatever it takes for that. So that'll be good. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this little unit. Uh, we still have another unit in the trailer. Still have not gotten to it yet. Bunch of bicycles. Hint, hint, hint. So you can watch that. Uh, but we will be getting to it. And uh, whoo. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And as always, we will talk to you later.